Welcome to the demo of the vRealize Operations Manager Tenant App for vCloud Director. What we're doing here is logging into the Tenant App as a provider admin, so that provider admin can now see all of the elements of his environment from a VROps view. He can see all of his organizations, all of the virtual data centers, and all of the VMs that are available within his environment. There is an overall health reporting of CPU, memory, and storage for that environment, as well as a list of individual alerts that are being generated. Another element that's available here is a listing of the organizations that exist within that cloud environment. A cloud administrator can log in and click into an individual organization and add and remove tenants. These are tenant admins that will now be able to log in to the VROps tenant app view and be able to see metrics and VROps related data just for their environment and for no other environments. At this point, we're now going to log in as one of the tenant admins that we just created from the organizational view. Now this tenant admin is able to see the VDCs that are available in his environment, and with that, able to see basic metrics and reporting, such as CPU, memory, and storage related to the environment. There is also a list of available alerts that have been generated by VROps itself that are uh, relevant to this particular organization. The tenant admin is also able to go to a full view of view all, which is a complete listing of all of the report, all of the alerts and alarms that have been generated for this environment. From there, he can double click on any one of these to be able to gain further detail. The final element of this primary dashboard view for, uh, for organizational admins is a set of key metrics that are relevant to that particular organization. We've received a lot of feedback from individual customers in speaking with GSS personnel about what these metrics should be and what are the most relevant sets of data that we should be presenting to users in this view. Users can then drill into any one of those metrics to find more detail and information behind those metrics. For example, they can drill into the org VDC level and be able to see the individual V apps that are comprised that, uh, that org VDC. They can drill into one of those V apps and see the individual VMs that are available and what their, their health status is. Finally, we wanted to allow organizational admins to be able to access any of the metrics that are collected and reported by VROps. So if a user browses to the metric selector screen, they can then select from any number of the hundreds of vSphere related metrics that are collected by VROps, and they can view it from the perspective of a org VDC, a vApp, or an individual VM. And of course, they can select the, res the time resolution from which they want to see that data. With this feature, users are truly able to unlock any of the data and any of the reporting capabilities that are traditionally captured in a VROps environment. Lastly, we wanted to show you how you can incorporate the VROps tenant app directly within the VCD 9.0 UI. The VROps tenant app includes a plugin which allows you to populate the VCD 9.0 HTML5 UI with an operations tab from which users can access all of the VROps tenant app functionality directly from within the VCD 9.0 UI.